of me when you are all alone. Maybe the one who is waiting for you will prove untrue. changes. The Romans waged war to gather slaves and wealth. Spain built an empire from its lust for gold and territory. Hitler shaped a battered Germany into an economic superpower. But war never changes. In the 21st century, war was still waged over the resources that could be acquired. Only this time, the spoils of war were also its weapons petroleum and uranium. For these resources, China would invade Alaska, the US would annex Canada, and the European Commonwealth would dissolve into quarreling, bickering nation states bent on controlling the last remaining resources on Earth. In 2077, the storm of world war had come again. In two brief hours, most of the planet was reduced to cinders. And from the ashes of nuclear devastation, a new civilization would struggle to arise. A few were able to reach the relative safety of the large underground vaults. Your family was part of that group that entered Vault 13. Imprisoned safely behind the large vault door under a mountain of stone, a generation has lived without knowledge of the outside world. Life in the vault is about to change. Hey there, Internet. Let's play a game. This game being Fallout 1. Yes, Fallout numero uno, the first one. The very beginning of the Fallout games. I'm going to hit new game because I know it's going to start looping the intro again. I don't want it to do that just yet. Um, this is partially in honor of the upcoming release of Fallout 4. It's exciting. I'm looking forward to it. I think I wept when I saw the the uh, trailer for the first time. It's all a bit of a blur, you know, because I couldn't see anything through the tears. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. So I thought I'd go back to the very beginning and try this on for size. Now, I have never played Fallout Numero Uno, but I know a few things about it. It uses a fixed isometric pers perspective, um, very different from the first person shooter layout of Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas, which are the ones I'm more aware of. And there's one female canon character. So I'm going to be playing as her. I like her agility score. That looks good. I just pointed at the screen. That made no sense. So Natalia is the grandchild of a Russian diplomat who worked at the Soviet consulate in Los Angeles. She is a talented acrobat with excellent coordination and reflexes. Darn straight she is. Uh, she is extremely intelligent and resourceful. Her only difficulty as a young child was understanding personal property laws. Natalia is very interested in leaving the vault and curious to explore the outside world. I like. I like her. I think I will play as her. Once again, I've never played Fallout 1. Uh, all I've done is read some tips. Um, and th actually, things I should probably do. Game preferences. Alright. Because I hate myself. Anything else I was supposed to do with that? Combat difficulty? Rough. Balance level? Maximum blood. Target highlight? Targeting only. Subtitles? On! Item highlight? On! Running? Sometimes. Combat messages? Verbose. I like verbosity. 
That's a word now. If it wasn't before, it's a word now. Anyway, hit new game again, go back to Natalia, let's take this character out for a spin. Ha! Ah, you're here. Good. We've got a problem. A big one. The controller chip for our water purification system has given up the ghost. Can't make another one, and the process is too complicated for a workaround system. Simply put, we're running out of drinking water. No water, no vault. This is crucial to our survival. And frankly, I, I think you're the only hope we have. You need to go find us another controller chip. We estimate we have four to five months before the vault runs out of water. We need that chip. We marked your map with the location of another vault. Not a bad place to start, I think. Look, just be safe. Okay? Okie doke, you know me, safe as can be. I always make good decisions regarding my survival and personal health. Such as setting game difficulty to really difficult. That's important. Builds character, you know? Builds really great character. Character building. <laughs> it's funny because this is a video game. Anyhow, first time out of the vault. This should be exciting. But since this is bit a bit of a an intro, a prelude, as it were, I think I'm gonna call it once we're outside of the vault, save it, and then move forward from there in another episode which may or may not come out the same day. Probably not. I've got way too many videos going on right now. Ah, uh, So, we're gonna go to options. I'm, I'm really looking forward to playing this game. I'm scared, yes, scared of the unknown and what I do not understand, but I think it's going to be a good experience for all of us. You get to laugh at me, I get to laugh at me. It'll be a great time. So I'm looking forward to the next episode. Until then, thank you so much for joining me. I hope to see you again soon.